Now we're going to take the first step into implementing our own protocol. And what we're going to be doing or solving in this following series of videos is how do I pass information back from the OW Add Space Object View Controller to the OW Outer Space Table View Controller when I'm transitioning from the OW Outer Space Table View Controller to the OW Add Space Object View Controller, it's quite a mouthful, um, using, the, uh, using the modal segue. Well, basically I want to be able to pass information from this class back to this class, right? So we're going to use a protocol to do that so we can practice what we've seen or learned about in our last video as well as trying to understand what's going on with the UI table view data source and delegate and just understand delegation a little bit more since it's so popular as a design pattern for iOS. So what we're going to first do is above our at interface we're going to write our protocol and what we're going to do here is we're going to write at protocol and we need a protocol name so generally the naming convention unless we have more than one protocol like we did for our table view is to write ow add space object view controller delegate and what we're doing here is we're simply taking the name of our class and we're adding the word delegate at the end. So it makes it very simple for us to figure out what class this is defined in and to kind of relate, oh, okay, that's where that protocol is coming from. We see that we immediately conform to the NS object protocol, like the UI table view data source did. And what we can do next is we can define a method inside of our protocol here. So let's go ahead and add a method, and this method is not going to return anything, so we'll use void, and we can add space object. We can also add another method below this, and this method won't return anything either, and we'll say did cancel. So we'll be calling this method when we add a space object, and we'll be calling this method when we did cancel. And both of these method, me methods will be implemented in the OW Outer Space Table View Controller. Notice that we have two methods and that we're going to require both of them. And we'll use the at required keyword in order to tell uh, our protocol that if another class conforms to the OW Outer Space uh, object view controller delegate that they'll have to implement both the add space object and the did cancel methods. We could also make this at optional if we wanted the developer or whoever was using this header file to have the option to implement both of these. But we're going to do it at required and if they don't implement both of these methods the computer program will crash for them. We also need to create a property so let's go down into the at interface here and we'll type at property and we'll do weak non-atomic and we have to give our property a type so we're going to use ID which is a pointer to object of type unknown and this property is going to conform to the OW add space object view controller delegate and we're going to give it the name delegate. So now when we have access to our OW add outer space view controller instance inside of the OW Outer Space Table View Controller, we'll be able to set the delegate property, property equal to self. So let's take a second and walk through this new notation here. Specifically, we're using weak. And why are we using weak? Well, we want to avoid retain cycles. Basically, if we strongly held on to the OW Outer Space Table View Controller here, both of these classes would be holding strongly onto each other, so it would be impossible to deallocate our OW add outer space object view controller. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. We'll cover more use cases of this in the future. But for now, it's important to remember that for when we create delegate properties, we're going to go declare them as weak uh, so that we'll be able to properly deallocate objects when we need to. Um, we're also going to be using type ID, which again is an object of type unknown, and this object is going to conform to the OOW add space object view controller delegate.